take 32. Cause goddamn, haven't made a video in a while, and I like I forgot how to intro videos. Well, I mean it's not like I knew how to intro back then either. Anyway, what's up, guys? So today I'm gonna be doing something a little different than my other videos. Today I'm gonna be making an action figure of Audrey 2 from Little Shop of Horrors. I'm gonna be making it out of different types of clay. Like I, I used, I think I used, I used an epoxy clay, polymer clay. I'll, you'll, you'll see it in the video. This will be the first time I use all of this stuff. Yeah, so the last thing that I've sculpted was in high school and I made this mask freshman year, which was like, I think it might have been like 15 years ago. We all wear masks, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> I, uh, but I watch a lot of clay sculptors and action figure makers, customizers on YouTube all the time. I think it's pretty cool, you know? And so I figured, you know what? I'm gonna give it a go myself. And so anyway, let's get started. All right, so to make the head, I'm gonna be using this Instamorph just to get the basic shape. Now, Instamorph are these little plastic BBs that when you mix with hot water, they melt together and you can form any shape you want and it turns into hard plastic. I'm just gonna let this sit here for a minute. Now to articulate the jaw, open and close, I'm gonna stick the feet of this Lego into the bottom jaw and I'm gonna put the top of the head on the top of the Lego. And I'll show you an example. I'm also gonna cut off the head from the Lego so that it can be flush with the head. Something like that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play the song again. All right, so this is what I ended up having. Um, as you can see the Lego right there. This Lego did have a clip like, or like as soon as it stand up straight like that it would hold but sticking this plastic back in hot water then you know I guess it loosened up the Lego it softened up the plastic inside it so now it doesn't want to stay open but oh well I'll just that's, that's just what I'm working with now I'm gonna be making the detail with Milliput which is this is in a, an epoxy putty So I'm gonna put the camera back on the easel. Uh, the tri I'm gonna put the camera back on the tripod, so I can work with this, and then I'll uh, yeah, we'll see what happens after that. So let's get it. I'm gonna go ahead and make some teeth 
so that by the time these are cured, I'm ready to make the mouth. Okay, so, so now that the teeth are cured and they're hard, I'm just going to shove them into the soft clay and that's how I'm going to make them out. Alright, so this is, where, this is where I'm at right now. What I was thinking of next is how am I going to get this big head to be balanced on this little pot? You know, I think it would just leak, fall over. My first idea was I was going to get a nail and I was just going to stick it through the bottom of the pot. And then I was going to screw like the tip of it on the bottom of this. And then I was going to cover up the screw with uh, some more of that moldable plastic and make it look like it's the shape of the root. And it was just gonna stay there still and that was the initial idea but I'm gonna do something else what I'm gonna do what, I, what I'm gonna do is this I went I went to Michaels and I got this bendable armature and I wanted to use this for for vines because I want I want uh, Audrey too to have vines saying so he can like grab things you know and I also got this this is clay that you bake and it's bendable see how it has like the the little, little stretchy little, little guys right now. You see that? So I'm going to cover this in that bendable clay, paint it, and then that's going to be his vines. And then I started thinking, hey, why don't I just make the root that way too? So the plan was this. I'm going to get the back of the figure, attach this here somewhere, and then I'm going to put it in here. And there we go. And I can move it. I'll be able to move it around. Ah, that hurt. And I'll be able to move this around carefully because this pot can break ceramic and then let's say if I want to pose the figure with his head up higher I could use the his vines that I'm gonna make separately to balance him to have them on the floor like holding him up so that's what uh that's the next step let's get it All right, so now I'm just gonna cover this all up with gesso as a primer and start the paint. Now, there were a few times that I wanted to quit this project because it just looked like crap. I had no idea what I was doing. But it's important that whenever you're working on a project, especially in the beginning, don't get discouraged and just keep working it.
so I had um I made a uh, uvula I don't know what it's called uvula vulva uvula? I don't know I made this thing to go in the back of Audrey's mouth as like you know the little um the throat and it ended up coming out like I know what it looks like that's it looks like a goddamn vagina that's not what I was trying to go for anyway <laughs> that's what this is and it's gonna go right here well, you can't really see it with the light I don't know I'll show you when I have a better light angle okay so here I'm just using more of that instamorph and I'm using it to anchor down the root and to hold down the uh, vines or whips or whatever they're called this There. <sighs> what it is. I'm like tired, but not really because I know if I go lay down, I'm just gonna like get on my phone or get on YouTube and I'm not gonna go to sleep. I'm just gonna lay there. I want to make it look natural, and I guess that's not too bad, but I want it to make sense, you know. I don't want to, I don't want it to look like I'm just throwing stuff in there. I know he, he also has things going around the head, or the pod, whatever it is. He's got like, well, maybe if I put a piece of tape. Hmm? What if I do that? What if I do that? Oh my god. I know I had more. I had also got this plant from a, I already tore it all up. I also got this from the Dollar Gen uh, Dollar General from um, Goodwill because you see this green this grass stuff inside. I was like, "Ooh, I'm gonna use it," but it's like hot glued to this to the styrofoam. See, like there's styrofoam. I didn't know that, but I mean, I don't know anything about plant decorating. I don't know if that's common I need to feel the base of it with this green mossy looking stuff which I may just have to go to Michaels or the store and get some these are landscape bushes these are landscape bushes for dioramas diorama diorama call you mama anyway I'm gonna be using these bushes and I'm gonna glue them into here. Oh, I really need to clean this workspace. All right, guys. So here it is, Audrey, two. Why is it not focusing? Oh, is it a, is it focusing? I can't see it from here. All right, guys. So there he is, or is it she? It's a he, right? I think it's a he. This was actually. I mean, I, I didn't make this in a day. This took a couple weeks because I mean, the milli put that I was using. Anytime you model with it or you know sculpt with it you have to give it three hours to cure before you can continue working it was probably just the way that i did it that took forever like i said in the beginning i've never i haven't done i'm not a sculptor so that was probably it i probably could have done the whole thing in one day but being as though like i didn't really know what i was doing i did a little bit 
let it cure then I did a little more let it cure. like I, I did like for the top part I covered the whole thing with milliput let it cure then I did another layer of milliput and that's where I did all the little um all these little cracks there's a bunch of like little octagon cracks in the skin and whatever whatever it's called then I let that cure and then I went over it put these lines on top of that after it was cured so just by that it was three six nine like nine hours just to make the top and then the lip wait that to cure and then once the whole and then once the top outside was done then I could do the bottom and then it was pretty much the same thing for the bottom let it cure you know thinking about it now maybe that's just the way that it goes and I'm just could probably be saying this and there's other sculptors saying yeah that's how long it takes or not I don't know I don't know fellas but this did I'm pretty I'm I'm very happy with the, let me get out of the way I'm very happy with how this came out I'm pretty pleased with myself if I don't say so myself you know what I'm saying and the vines all that stuff really it was because one thing about me is that I really like action figures well I like movies and I like to get action figures of the horror icons and then I got a whole shelf I'm not sure the scale I don't I don't I'm not sure what the scale is called like I made this in one six scale I made this to go with like seven inch action figures so I don't know anyway thanks guys thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it was different the next one I'm gonna make is uh I don't know when it's gonna come out because these figures take a while to make but I'm gonna be uh you know when it comes out it comes out I want to say it'll be out by next Friday but with these kind of things you, I mean you never know the every day something new ha anyway I will see you on the next video Whenever that is.